What's up guys, today I'm gonna to go through how to install and use these awesome flash transitions so that you have them over here in your transitions tab, ready to go. So once you've downloaded the transitions, you just wanna go ahead and double click to unzip the folder if it comes zipped. If it doesn't, then you can just go ahead and right click on the folder, go to copy, and then go up to your finder, click go, click home, and then movies, motion templates, and transitions, right click and paste the item into the transitions. I already have them, so I don't need to replace them. If you can't find the motion templates and you don't have these folders, then I do have another video linked in the description on how to install plugins that might help. Once I've done that, I'm going to open Final Cut Pro and go to my transitions tab over here and scroll down until you find the name of the pack you've just installed. So over here we have all of the transition presets and then also the vertical video transition presets. So it's really simple to add these onto your video clips. You can either select one side of a video clip and double click on the transition. This will add it straight in. And now we have the transition added and you can also change the speed of these by making them shorter or making them longer. You can change the speed of the transition. Another way to add the transition, you can just drag it on and place it in between the video clip, just like that. And then if you select the transition and go up to the parameters over here, we have a bunch of different settings that you can change to change the look of the transition and the different blend modes will change also how it looks. Another cool thing you can do with transitions is overlap them. So to do that, what I'm going to do is press P on my keyboard and then just drag this video clip up above the timeline. And then if I select the beginning of it and then double click on another transition and then overlap these. So now we have a mixture of those two transition variants, which is pretty cool that you can mix and match them. Another thing we can do is bring in an adjustment layer and set the adjustment layer to lighten. And then we can add a transition onto this and that will also affect the video clip underneath like an effect or but some transitions might work differently depending on the settings. And yeah, that's pretty much it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I'll leave a link to the transitions in the description if you wanna check them out. There's some free transitions and also a big pack full of different transitions. And you can use discount code YouTube to get 20% off of that pack. Subscribe if you like the video and I'll see you in the next one.